Hello there. In last month's vlog, I mentioned that I would start doing a little series of films on training a sheepdog. For me, agroecology is about the practical science of farming and the working of a collie dog has been done for a very long time and they're an extremely useful tool if you're a sheep fa farmer. Either on the hill or any other style of farming, a good dog is worth his weight in gold. Now a good dog is very, very cheap to run, but he'll do the work of six or ten men if you get a nice one. And that's the key. You've got to get your dog trained and the basics in there before you can go out and do a job with him. Now, when you buy a pup, go to a good breeder. The International Sheepdog Society has something like 6,000 members and in Great Britain holds the vast majority. So it shouldn't be too hard to find a guy that knows what he's doing and has got some nice bloodlines uh, in border collies. There are plenty of people around that you can approach for a pup. The ISDS website's a good place to go to uh, have a look and get useful numbers and to find out information on where to go. Once you've found your litter of pups and you know that they come from a good working strain, it's also a good idea to get a registered pup. If they're registered with the International Sheepdog Society, it means that they've gone through certain criteria to be able to breed. So their eyes are going to be good, their DNA tested, uh, they're scored on all sorts of things. So a nice registered pup with the ISDS would be my strong advice. How much should you pay? Well, a pup that's bred on a farm, he's registered, you could pay anything from 250 to 400 pounds for a pup, depending on its breeding. They normally get slightly more expensive if a guy or a lady indeed has won a lot of prizes and they're well proven dogs. But around that 300, 350 pound mark would be the normal price to pay for a puppy, which is very cheap. If you train that dog well and it works for you for 10 years, it's a very, very small investment. So let's assume you've gone out and bought an eight week old puppy. Bring him home, make him comfortable. My dogs don't come in the house. They all live outdoors all of the time and they're perfectly happy. If you buy a pup in the winter, obviously make provision to make him comfortable uh, and warm, but basically they're outdoor dogs. Now when you get your pup, let him be socialized. Let him play with the kids, let him see people, let him get out and about. Uh, do all of that and all of the time you can teach him some little manners as you're going along. You know, don't jump up, you can't eat this. Um, just little things that you're putting little manners on. By the time he's six months old, he'll know his name thoroughly uh, and he'll stop when I tell him to and he'll come back to me when I call him. And that's really important. You want a dog that'll come back to you when you call him. If you go out and start training and it all gets a bit hairy and flyy and all sorts of things are happening, if you can stop that dog and call him back to you, you're never out of control. And the universal command for bringing a dog back to you or to come to heel is that'll do. And it's exactly what it describes, that'll do stop working, come back to me. So it's important that your dog knows when it's at work and when it's not at work. So you can switch them on, switch them off. And that'll do is the universal word for come back to me. So by the time he's six months old, he knows his name. He's looking at you, he'll come back to you. What I'll do is, is I'll put mine on a little light lead and I'll take them for a walk down the drive at home. And as I walk down the drive, I'll make him walk into heel. Basic manners, just make him walk into heel. That'll do, that'll do, come into me. So here he is and he comes to you. You want a nice dog? I don't know whether you can see him here, but this is Bob, this is a two year old dog. Uh, very, very loyal, very faithful. And it's because they have that light sort of discipline from day one. The dog works for me, I don't work for the dog. So I think for this month, it's important that you buy a nicely bred dog. Don't just get any collie dog that comes along. Get onto the International Sheepdog Society website, find out if the puppies are registered. It's important they're registered with the ISDS uh, and then buy yourself a nice pup. And then up to six months, just give it a really nice childhood if you like. Give it that real um, time. You cannot put a dog into a kennel, shut it up and leave it alone. You've got to interact with it get it socialised, get it knowing you.